Hey guys, Sean here from S&P, here today with Jamie Smith, executive chef at the Abode Hotels. He's going to be showing us a very simple chicken dish that we can all cook. So now I'm going to do a quick uh, chicken dish. So like I said previously, cook whatever's going to take longest first. So in this instance, we're going to do like sweet potato uh, chips. So we've got my non-stick baking sheet. Add a bit of coconut oil to that. And while I'm chopping my sweet potato, I'm going to stick that in the oven to melt the coconut oil. Obviously make sure you've had your oven preheated. I'm cooking it at 250 degrees C, partly because I find household ovens quite uh, low when they're at 180. Like I said before, I'm going to square off the sweet potato. Obviously the thinner you cut the chips, the quicker they're going to cook. I will add a bit of spices to these, but I'll do it near the end so they don't burn in the oven. So just spread the chips out. And then make sure the coconut oil coats the complete tray. And what I'll do is I'll turn them over once so you get an even coating on both sides of the potato. So next I'm going to get the chicken on. I'm going to char grill at this time. So I'm not, I don't require any fat so because it shouldn't really uh, stick to the pan. Again, I'm going to season with this at the end just because I don't want the seasoning and spices to burn on the char griller. But I need to let that get hot. Spinach doesn't take that uh, long to cook, so I will be cooking that uh, right at the end. I've got asparagus, broccoli and curly kale. So I'll cook them all together just literally in uh, boiling water and then finish them with a tiny bit of butter and a bit of lemon juice and a bit of salt to add a bit of flavour. With pre-packed kale sometimes you tend to find there's sometimes hard stems in there. So just when you're picking through it make sure you remove them because they're not that nice to eat. With this dish as well I'm going to make like a spicy yoghurt dip to replace your Probably usual mayo. So literally all I'm going to do is mix yogurt with, depending on what you have in your house, whether it's Frank's, Tabasco or Sriracha. In this instance, Sean's got Encona. So I'll just put a tiny bit of that in there. Literally just mix that together, have it however spicy or unspicy as you like. Now my char grill pan's hot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the chicken in there. And what I'm going to do to speed up the process of this chicken is I'll char grill at both sides, then I'll cut it in half down the middle and then char grill the cut sides so it speeds up the process. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, steam of vegetables or blanch. Again, like the cauliflower, don't be afraid to get these on early and then hot hold them while you wait for your other ingredients to get ready. So again, I'm just going to hot hold my veg there until later. As you can see, that was quite easy to take off. It hasn't stuck to the pan. Now I'm going to turn my sweet potato chips over. You can either use a lifter or your hands, but if you do use your hands, be careful. As you can see, although the oven is on a very high temperature, they're not burnt. So 
and stick them back in the oven. So what I'm going to do with this chicken now is take it out, cut it in half down the middle, butterfly it. Just uh, speed up that process of cooking it. And now as, as it's only very thin, it shouldn't take uh, long to cook at all. So in this pan, I'm going to glaze all my vegetables and cook my spinach. So again, I'm using some uh, grass-fed butter. Just let that melt slowly. You don't want the heat too hot as, it'll, again, it'll burn the butter and uh, make everything bitter. I'm add a bit of a piri piri blend to my chicken. Just uh, put a little bit on the top and then. Also as the chips are getting nearer, I now want to season them up. I'm using a bit of uh, onion salt. Touch of a uh, KN. Bit of a uh, ground dried garlic. And a bit of a uh, smoked paprika. Before you return them to the oven, just shake them a bit, just so they get a bit more of the flavor around them. Just gonna add a bit of the same Piri Piri seasoning to the other side of the chicken. And if you haven't got a temperature probe at home and you're a bit worried about whether your chicken's cooked or not, again, don't be afraid to slice it again. As you're going to be carving it with a fork and knife when you eat it. So as that bit was a bit fatter, I can see it's still a bit undercooked, so, but it's almost there. So I'll just finish it off. I'm going to cook my spinach, so I've melted the butter, still on a low heat. Add my spinach in there and add your hot hold, held vegetables, so your broccoli, asparagus and kale. And just uh, start to glaze them and warm them up. As well, I'm going to add a bit of lemon juice to my vegetables, just give them a little lift flavour wise. So now everything's just about there, I'm gonna serve up.